little tutorial on using the Bunsen burner, how to light it, how to use it. And so here's your Bunsen burner, here's the tube um, that you will need to plug into the, the gas valve. So make sure your tube is nice and strong and it's not cracked anywhere. And then you go ahead and attach the tube to the gas outlet. Now be careful when you're using a uh, Bunsen burner is that you keep away from the flame. Okay, and when you're trying to light this, you should not have the gas right there so it's not in front of you like this. So make sure it's away from you and the gas is on the other side so you can easily manipulate it. This is a striker and a striker is uh, something that causes a spark so you have to press it hard. Now I'm not pressing it hard so I'm showing you this is not really working. So what you have to do is press it really hard. Okay, use your thumb and press it really hard to create that spark. Okay, it takes a little practice and it will work. Okay, so then when you're ready to turn on the Bunsen burner, turn on the gas and you will hear it. Okay, and then use the striker to light the fire. <clears throat> and here's a beautiful flame. It's not that great. Okay, so it's beautiful but not that great. So the height of the flame can be controlled by the gas outlet over here. So you can make it smaller, you can make more gas come in. I like to keep it here right now at a 30 or 45 degree angle. So that way I know there is medium amount of gas coming in. And then your control that you really need is over here. Okay, so there are two kinds of flames to talk about. One is called a yellow flame, the other one is a blue flame. And this is a blue flame, but this is not what we call the true blue flame. Okay, so the true blue flame is something like this, okay, where you have a very sharp flame and it has a nice cone. And what I want you to look at is the cone that is inside over here, okay? And so there's an outer cone and then there is an inner cone, okay, right here. This inner cone right here is the hottest part of the flame and that's what you will use in some cases. Depending on what experiment you have, you may need this. So again, remember, this is the hottest part of the flame. And if you don't want this one, if you want a cool flame, then you will change the amount of oxygen coming in, which can be changed from here. So right now, actually, I have a large amount of oxygen coming in. Okay, so the burning is going on really very nicely. And so if I want to change that, I can just move this ring around. And now I have a yellow flame over here. And this yellow flame is what we call a cool flame, so it's not as hot. Is there. Now a few things that can happen while you're lighting the Bunsen burner is that your flame can go out just by itself so please keep an eye on the flame and then turn off the gas if it goes off and then sometimes when you're trying to go from a yellow flame to a blue flame like this sometimes the gas also will go out okay so make sure that your gas pressure from the gas valve is perfect over there so because if it's too high then your gas flame is going to go out. Okay, and so please be careful with that. Just turn the gas off if you're not quite sure about anything, okay? And then regarding the striker and regarding uh, lighting your flame, if it's taking you more than 10 seconds to light the flame, then turn off the gas and then practice the striker on your own first, okay, before you can um, light the flame.